She then told me I had no right to have that picture in my house. <laughs> what? <laughs> hello, 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 let's judge. I'm feeling done with dealing with my problems for today and I want to read other people's. So let us read Am I the A-hole and let's judge whether they are or not. As this is the point. Am I the jerk for telling my soon-to-be niece that she doesn't need to wear a dress to my wedding? I, 32 female, am getting married to my fiancé, 41 male, next year. After we got engaged, I suggested it might be nice if I asked my fiancé's niece, who's 15, if she wanted to be a bridesmaid too. I've only met her a couple of times, so we're not close, but she seemed like a cool kid and I thought it might be a nice way for us to bond, slash get to know each other, slash involve her in the wedding. Side note, she's the only niece slash nephew on either side of the family. A lone wolf. Anyway, cut to a few weeks ago and we're in my fiance's hometown to visit his family and discuss wedding related stuff. His brother, sister-in-law, and their daughter came over and I noticed this time that she was dressed a lot more androgynous than I remembered. The topic moved to a wedding dresses and bridesmaids dresses and I could see she was immediately uncomfortable. Her parents, her mom really, and grandma were making comments about how she'd need to be more feminine slash brush her hair, etc. and how nice it would be to see her like that. I'll be honest and say this hit a nerve with me as I was very much a tomboy as a teenager, even though I'm not anymore, and it absolutely broke me whenever my relatives would say things like that. Yeah, I feel that. I was kind of tomboyish too. Eventually, her mother made a comment along the lines of, it'll be nice to see you dressed like a girl for once, and she looked really sad and embarrassed and upset. Why shouldn't she get to dress how she wants, mom? In response, because that really hit a nerve, I immediately told her that my maid of honor would be wearing a trouser suit for the wedding and not a dress, and that I'd given all the bridesmaids the option of wearing anything they want, as long as it's in the wedding color to make things easier. That's so cool! I remember a while ago, I saw this thing where people give their bridesmaids the choice of any dress they want, just as long as it's the same color. And I think that's pretty similar to this, and I think that's so awesome, and I kind of wish I did that for my wedding. And I just think that's so cool, people get to wear what they want and be individual, but you know, still remain in the theme. I pulled out my phone and started showing her photos of the ideas my friends had sent me. A jumpsuit, culottes, a trouser suit, a tailored tux. Women in suits? Seriously, women in suits look amazing. I love that look. And let her know that she could pick anything at all she wanted. She could even wear jeans and trainers if that made her comfortable. And that's that it's a wedding, not a fashion show. <laughs> I like that. My niece perked up a bit when I said that, but her mom looked really pissed off. Uh -huh. She since asked my fiance to pressure me into getting all the bridesmaids dresses so their daughter will have to wear one, which lol, no. Dude, my husband doesn't give a crap what she wears, but obviously also doesn't want his family and me to be arguing on the wedding day. I don't want to back down because I know what it feels like to be pressured into wearing something that makes you uncomfortable. But on the other hand, I know it's only for a day and it'd make the family happy. What about making you happy? If this what makes you happy, sorry, it's not the parents' day. It's not that mom's day. It's yours. You are absolutely not the jerk. I think this is amazing and I love this idea. I think this is a fantastic idea and she should not back down. That's, I really hate that the mom tried to go like behind her back to the fiance to be like, I, my daughter has to wear a dress. <sighs> not the jerk. Next. Am I the jerk for telling everyone the truth why my brother didn't come to our family reunion? A little backstory for context. My brother's girlfriend and my wife got into an argument four years ago. My brother Jack's girlfriend Danielle, I don't know why that was hard, but it was, tends to hold grudges and cut people out of her life when she isn't happy with their actions. The fight my wife and Danielle got into was over a mutual friend, my brother's best friend Henry. Danielle didn't like Henry and told my brother it was either her or Henry. Oh no, not the ultimatums. My brother broke up with her but eventually cut ties with his best friend and got back together with Danielle. This sounds like an entire plan that she concocted. Danielle told my wife to stop inviting Henry to cookouts, parties, and events. My wife said no, Henry is a family friend and is more than welcome to come to anything we host. Especially when they're hosting, that's completely their choice, and if they don't have a problem with the dude, they don't have to say no, just to appease her. Danielle said she needed to rethink their friendship, feeling my wife didn't side with her. My wife basically told her to grow up and F off. And that probably felt really good. My wife and Danielle haven't seen or spoken to each other since the argument. My wife did apologize numerous times, saying she was out of line. Danielle won't accept her apology, and by doing so, had my brother pick a side. Oh, that's the worst. Being in the middle, being in the middle sucks. And that's really big of her to like apologize, you know, for probably not really needing to apologize because this Danielle person seems to be very 
intense <laughs> with her, her picking sides things. That sucks. Don't do that to people. It's not fair to put someone in a position like that. It has been a real nightmare where my brother has tried numerous times to reconcile, tried to meet his niece who is two and coming to gatherings. Daniel gives him an ultimatum every time, so he chooses to stay away to avoid conflict with his girlfriend. Big yikes. For the past four years, every time we've had a family get together, we've made excuses for Danielle and Jack saying they're busy or had prior obligations. My parents said Danielle's biggest concern is family members will think of her differently if they find out she's the one preventing my brother from attending family gatherings. I wonder why? She tends to put on an act for family that she's the sweet and innocent behind the curtains. She controls my brother and has a very bad temper. Whenever she's at parties, she's like, Hello everyone, I'm so sweet and I'm the best. And when she's at home, she's like, How dare you talk to your family? We had a family reunion over the weekend and once again, everyone asked where Danielle and Jack were. I finally told everyone the truth that Danielle was still upset with my wife and she's refusing to make amends and my brother isn't allowed to go anywhere without her. My parents said that they have tried to talk to my brother alone, but Daniel won't let that happen. They asked how he liked being an uncle. I told them the truth that he's never met his niece. He's made a couple of attempts, but Daniel wouldn't let him, so he hasn't been able to. The look on their faces was shock, mortified, and confused. Some asked me to go into detail, so I did, and others kind of just smiled and walked away. Which I don't really blame them for, especially if this is a family reunion party. Some people, at every family reunion party, you have people you don't even talk to. So imagine that this is happening and these other people aren't even really involved, so they're just like, <laughs> Honey, I told you we shouldn't have come. <laughs> We're just, we're gonna... <laughs> now my parents are saying I'm a jerk because family is going to look at Danielle differently and I've made it awkward for any other family gatherings in the future for my brother and Danielle. Edit, for everyone asking what Henry did to Danielle, Henry told Jack that Danielle was trying to isolate him. She didn't like the fact that Henry told Jack to break up with her after six months of dating. Danielle didn't like how close Henry and Jack were. They would play golf together and do things she doesn't like to do, so she felt excluded. She gave my brother an ultimatum saying Henry was threatening their relationship. <laughs> How is that threatening their relationship when they're literally just friends hanging out? You don't have to do everything with him. You can be your own person. Jack told Henry, so Henry spoke up and called her a jerk. Henry would try to point out other girls when they went to the bar to sway Jack's mind. As a girlfriend, she felt he was trying to break them up, which he was. I say they were not being the jerk and that, that is really unfortunate that their brother is in such an abusive relationship and I hope that they can leave that because this Danielle person is extremely controlling, especially the part where the parents say you've ruined the family gathering when they literally asked where they were, she was just being honest. People who set up ultimatums like that and are this controlling need so much therapy. <laughs> Am I the jerk for refusing to take down a picture of my brother in my house after his girlfriend asked me to? I, female 27, have individual pictures of my immediate family members in my house, including pictures of my brother, male 25, our dad, and our mom. I invited my brother and his girlfriend to my house for a dinner a couple nights ago and I showed my girl- <laughs> and I showed my brother's girlfriend around because she's never been inside my house before. We came across the picture I have of my little brother. His girlfriend asked me why I had a picture of him and I said it's because he's my baby brother. Why wouldn't I have a picture of him? Yeah, why wouldn't you have a picture? A completely normal picture of him and the rest of your family. If it was just him and there was like a shrine of his toenails and his half-eaten apple, yeah, that'd be a little weird. She then told me I had no right to have that picture in my house. <laughs> What? <laughs> my brother heard us arguing and came over. We explained the situation and my brother said he was perfectly okay with me having a picture of him inside my house. Yeah! This isn't weird for anyone else but you! His girlfriend started throwing a fit on how it was so effing weird. And she ended up leaving my house and causing my brother to run after her. Leave that relationship, man! She is a little bit crazy. So no, you are not the jerk. That's weird. Your brother needs to leave that relationship. <laughs> uh, add another picture of your brother every time she comes over. <laughs> Get a shirt with his face printed on it. Don't forget a set of cushion covers for the sofa. <laughs> oh, they just keep going on. That's amazing. Just cover your house of your brother. Just piss her off. <laughs> that was an interesting batch today. I hope you enjoyed it. If at any point you liked the video, please leave it a like and leave comments of your thoughts. If you haven't subscribed already, I hope you do because... I think what we do here is fun. And then remember to hit that notification bell so you know when I've made a video, you can be the first to see it. I hope you're all doing fantastic. And I appreciate you all so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.